The LG V20 user here meet the fan that has two notches, one on top and one on bottom. So I'm on phone when I come here and uh, this is the concept phone by ZTE. And like I said it has two notches, one on top and one on bottom. So this is very interesting guys. So this is what the phone looks like here. This is front and back as you guys see the uh, notch right there and the one right here has two notches. Which is very interesting. One's put one notch five for the microphone, and the other one's for like the cameras and stuff like that. The screen looks kind of curved. It looks kind of curved there. Um, as you guys see, the back of the phone right here has a uh, fingerprint sensor, CTE logo. On the back of the phone, in my opinion, it looks like the ZTE Blade Z Max on Metro PCS. That's what the phone looks like to me on the back, but this one is a bit different than the one on this PCS this it kind of kind of looks like the Blade Z Max in my opinion it kind of does on back anyway so let's check out this phone so it says here it appears that ZTE is thinking that if customers love having a notch on their smartphones they will absolutely adore having two notches renders of a concept model with the name ZTE Iceberg has surfaced so this is what that phone talking about called iceberg and they show that the dual notch device carries a notch at the top and the bottom of the display the top notch contains the front facing selfie sniper along with the earpiece and sensors for distance and light the bottom notch is only for a second speaker which allows the iceberg to offer stereo sound. The casing of the four corners of the phone is transparent and is a bit more squared off than the rounded up corners underneath under the see through material. That's interesting. While there's are while there are no leaked specs to pass along, we can see that the concept phone does have a dual camera set up on the back, and the fingerprint sense scanner is also on the rear of the phone. The underneath the ZTE logo, we can see some pen connectors that could be used for a variety of reasons, possibly including the attachment of modular accessories. So if you guys can see it as a little pin connectors right there which is interesting because they're taking the page from M M M Motorola there they're taking the page from that wow phone has got it all doesn't it it says unless ZTE changed its mind like Vivo did by deciding to mass produce its Apex concept phone don't expect the iceberg to be made available to consumers anytime soon uh, this phone is interesting as fuck. Um, it says renders of the ZTE Iceberg. Um, I mean, this phone, man, it, it's interesting as fuck to me, man. Um, I think it's gonna have five, six, I think it's gonna have flagship specs on this phone. To be honest with you, I think it's gonna be flagship specs. Um, they don't, they don't mention anything about specs or anything. But I do think it's gonna have um flagship specs on the sign. I don't know this, what the specs are. Uh, I'm gonna say it end with Oreos on board. I'm gonna say that. I'm definitely saying that. I, I do do think Oreo will be on board. Uh, this phone is interesting as fuck because, like I said, it has two notches: one on top, one on bottom. Uh, the top of the, the top notch houses the front facing camera, earpiece, and sensors and all that good stuff. The bottom notch uh, houses the speaker, so uh, that's pretty cool. And I guess your microphone is on the bottom of the phone there. So, and then when you get on the back of the uh, iceberg here, you guys will see, you know, dual camera setup, fingerprint sensor, ZTE logo, and pen connector. So there could be some um, modular accessories to this phone. We'll see if. They can pull it off like M M M M Motorola did with their um, Mary Z line. So this is interesting. Um, 
Thumb looks very interesting to me, you know. It looks like it has like a, gla a, gl a glossy back to it, as you guys can see right down the back. It's probably glass on it's probably glass on both sides of the phone, probably. Um, like I said, back of the phone reminds me of the ZTE Blade Z Max on much PC is, but it's a bit different than the Blade Z Max because it's like rounded and whatnot and has it's in its glass. It's not like uh, uh it's not like a matte finish on the uh, Blade Z Max though. Um. Uh, I don't know the screen size of the screen. I'm just. It's probably bigger than the 6 inch display. Um, I don't know the exact screen size of this phone. I don't know the specs on this phone. Only thing I know about it, it has three cameras a dual camera set up on the back, and a, dual, and a front facing camera on the front. So it has two dual, it has dual, dual cameras on the back, and a single camera on the front all right uh like i said i think it's gonna have five six specs on this phone the the most interesting thing about this phone guys is two notches uh, i'm not a fan of the notch i'm not a fan of it i've told you guys that in previous videos like i did on the lg7 um video i'm not a fan of the notch i just think it's stupid i just think no man uh, yeah, a lot, of fucking, a lot of these times are coming out with fucking notches, man. Like, come on, LG's doing it, GTE doing it, uh, Asus. What's next? Samsung's gonna do the uh, notch thing? I'm sure they will eventually. But I'm not a fan of the notch. I'm not a fan of it. I, I would not get this phone because of the notch. I would not get it because of the notches. I would not get this phone. I mean, it thing looks nice and everything. And, like uh, you know, and it's nice and, and nice and everything, but the nice is just kill it for me, man. I'm just not a fan of. It. I just think it's stupid. I think that everyone's trying to suck uh, Apple's dick or whatever, but Apple wasn't the first one to do the notch. Essential was with the Essential phone PH1. So, um. That's interesting to me, man. Like, this phone's two nods. It's like, what the fuck? Uh, so, there's only have, I think it only has one speaker. Do you get, uh, do you get front facing speakers? Probably not. It's probably just one speaker on the front where the sound will come out at you if you're, like, watching YouTube or whatever. Then the top part will have your earpiece for calls and shit like that. Um, the wallpaper is nice. If you guys see the wallpaper in this picture, it it's very nice. It's an interesting wallpaper. Uh, I mean, this phone is interesting as fuck to me, man. It's interesting as fuck. Um. The most important feature about the phone is the two notches, and that's all we know about the phone is that it has two notches. It has dual camera set on the back, a fingerprint sensor, a ZTE logo, and a pin connector probably for a um, modular accessory. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, we, we don't know nothing about the specs, but like I said, I do think that this will have flagship specs on there. I think I have Android Oreo. I hope it has Android Oreo. Uh, I don't know when this phone is going to be released. It's not going to be available anytime soon. Uh, this is this is just a concept phone. So anything is possible. They could um they could um they could release this phone or they could scrap the phone altogether. They could. Right now, this is just a concept phone. Uh, what do you guys think about this phone? Would, 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 would you guys buy one of these? Would you guys get it? Do you guys like the phone? Uh, would you guys think the specs will be on this phone? Like I said, I think it'd be spikes and specs on this one. Um, I think it's gonna carry a hefty price tag for this phone as well. When it uh, when and if it becomes available to uh, customers out there, and the uh, uh, you know whatever. So I think this is gonna have a hefty price tag. Uh, 
one and if it is available to people to get if they're interested in this phone. Um, it's a it's not a bad look. It's not a bad phone, man. It's just that the that the notches, man, it kills it for me, and I would not buy this phone because of the notches. Just I'm just a, I'm not a fan of the notches, and I probably would never be a fan of the notches. Um, you know, everyone's fucking doing it now. Everyone's you know doing the notches the game now, and I'm not all for that. So that's just my opinion, guys. I mean, it's a nice phone and whatnot, minus the notches, but Front back of the frame reminds me of the ZTE Blade Z-Max, but it's a slightly different back end than the Blade Z-Max. The Blade Z-Max has like a uh, a matted finish, and this one has like it looks like it has glass in the back. So yeah, so more premium feel in the hand, definitely. Uh, so what do you guys think about the ZTE Iceberg concept phone? Would, 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 would you guys buy one? Would you, how much do you guys think this phone cost? Uh, this, will be, this is going to be a hefty price tag no matter what. It's going to have five six packs on it. Um, I say, uh, I'm going to say $700. Yeah, I'm going to say $700 if it gets released. I'm gonna say seven to eight hundred dollars if it gets released. Um, so on flight ship specs, like I said. So the fan looks very nice, like I said, minus the notches, because I'm just not a fan of the notches. I don't think I'll never be. The, I don't think I'll never be a fan of the notches. Be honest with you, I don't think I'll never be a fan of it, cause I just I'm just I'm just not feeling the notches. I'm just not feeling it. So what do you guys think about the ZTE Iceberg concept fan? What do you guys think about it? this phone? Has two notches on it. Uh, are you guys a fan of the notch? Are you guys not a fan of the notch? I'm not a fan of the notch. So, I'd like to know y'all's opinions on the ZTE Iceberg, guys. This one is interesting as fuck because it's two notches. So, what do you guys think about this phone? So, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.